Uh, yeah, I had a great time in the last four days. Um, I was uh, going to pull out on Thursday in Grassi. You called me uh, uh, and asked me your call back. I returned your call back that after uh, evening. And I was uh, in two minds that you know, how I'm going to manage the four days uh, with strangers. Um, and to be out of my comfort zone, that's, that's being at home with my wife and children. Um, and this is uh, the first time after uh, being discharged from the hospital in, in 2009 that I'm coming out on my own. Uh, coming here, I felt at home. Um, everybody was very supportive. Uh, everything was organized for us. And uh, we were able to be ourselves. We didn't have to put a... Um, uh, put a, a cover over ourselves to be strong or, or to hide ourselves, be, be ourselves and everybody accepted it because everybody knew uh, but each of us go through um, because a lot of people don't understand but then so I was go through because it's not everybody goes you know, and we don't you know it's the last thing that anybody had to go through in their lifetime but um, it, uh, you know, I really had a great time and uh, made some good friends and at the end of the day it feels like you are at home with, with family because um, everybody um, are so open and, and loving and, and caring and we had a great time and thank you very much. It's hard to express what it means to me. I think this, this week and this four days has been the best experience of my life and I think I've taken so much from everyone. It's, it's like Everything's had to shift in here. I've got this little compartment in here where everyone's going to be locked in my heart forever. It's, there's oh, no words for how I just feel about everyone. And I'm so grateful that I got to be a part of it. And all these other people that sort of came in had to go, but I got to be here for the whole thing. And it's just been a, an amazing experience that I'm going to take with me forever. And I, I really hope that I can take, keep this all inside and take it on board and just be such a better professional and person in the future. It's, it's been amazing and Grazi and Dale and Peter, just everyone's just accepted me on board and I feel like this is, this is my family here and I really don't want to go home. This weekend has meant heaps to me. I didn't know what I was coming to. I was so nervous and apprehensive and excited because I thought it'd be wonderful to meet other people who've had burns and scarred because I've never met any other people before. So um, I'd gone along to the burn support group that, at Parramatta and they told me about the retreat and I kept thinking will I come or not and then I thought I will because Trish kind of made me feel that it was going to be really lovely and she did say that perhaps when I first got here I might want to go home um, but I knew that she was going to be there so I ended up getting time off work and, and it ended up being a longer weekend than I thought, I just thought it was a weekend but it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday and then I thought oh how will I cope with this long amount of time with people I've never met before where I don't even know where I'm going or what we're doing but it turned out to be just wonderful it was, it's like I've found a new family and where I'm not ashamed to have my burns and we're all comparing them you know pulling up your pants or pulling up your sleeves and showing your chest or whatever and talking about the different kinds of um, operations that I, seeing as I was born, burnt 47 years ago, um, I've never been told or shown any of these new dead plasties and the new skin grafting and all that and it's just opened up a whole new world and I feel so lucky to have been able to come here and this retreat was just wonderful and um, the food was just magnificent, the accommodation was just wonderful and everyone's caring attitude and there was always someone there to listen to because there was like a, a psychologist, there was someone to give you some massages, there was just always someone to talk to and listen to and I'm, I'm just, I, yeah, as I said before, I feel like I'm in a, a whole new family um, and I just want to make sure I keep on Facebooking people and emailing and, and I'm looking forward to coming to another one. Is that alright? Well, I've just... Bye. Yeah. I've just finished the most amazing weekend, a retreat with the Peter Hughes Boons Foundation. 
I've done many retreats over the years and I would have to say that this one has probably been one of the most moving and significant retreats that I've ever been involved in. I've been truly humbled by listening to the people's stories and the survivors in my eyes are true heroes for what they've endured and what they've been through and how they're coming through the other side. So for me to have the opportunity to be able to share and hopefully um, be of some support to the survivors um, has been a wonderful experience. So Peter Hughes Burns Foundation, Grazie, Dale, Crystal, you have all done amazing work this weekend with pulling this together and I am really proud to be associated and to be an advocate for the Peter Hughes Burns Foundation. Thank you.